Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, because it's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. I got a few cool products for us to check out today. And we're gonna start off by getting comfy. You know, I got that great big huge tent. When I was in there, I was like, man, <laughs> This is a living room. I just need a sofa. And it just so happens, Wally Cop, the Amazon store, stepped up and said, hey, we want you to be comfortable in that big old tent too. So we're gonna send you an inflatable sofa. It's actually an inflatable easy chair. Well, let's open it up and see what it looks like. Guess it would help if I let you look at it too. Oh, so we've got an inflator. I have a power one though, so that'll go faster with the power one. So what we need to do is, is head over. I still have the tent set up from the last two videos. So we'll head over there in a momentarily, but we got something else we're gonna check out. Turbro has also stepped up again and said, hey, would you be interested? Well, of course. So, we got this box from Turbro, and it says it's actually a, a doghouse heater. And that that is interesting in that doghouses are not very big, and I have a tent that's not very big. I have a user's manual, and they do a fantastic job with giving you all the information you need to work with their products. Turbro does. These, these guys really have got it going on. This, this was interesting to me for a lot of reasons. One, it's got this really heavy cord, so the, the, the spring around it is gonna keep any dogs. So if you're using it, in the doghouse or to keep your chickens warm. You don't have to worry about anybody, any puppies chewing on it. And we got about 10 feet of cord. We have about 10 feet of cord. And what I'm wondering is if, if, how well this will actually work in the tent. It's just a forced air, it's a, it's a forced air ceramic heater. So it may not be ideal for the tent, <laughs> but after that last cold spell and the water lines froze in the RV, <laughs> I know it'll work in there. But we're gonna take it out to the to the tent and we're gonna we're gonna let I hate living near the airport. So we're gonna take it out to the tent and hang it up. Hang it up like that and see how it how it blows. So let's go to the big top. So I have the heater running. I like that little heater. It's got a, got a good durable case on it. I've actually got it hanging up on the pole up there. And I'll uh, let you see it momentarily. Ooh. Came with patches. Oh, 
that'll, that'll, that'll take a little while, but I think we're not going to have any <laughs> other choice because the hose is too small to go in my blower. All right. So it may be that I'm having to do some time lapse. You definitely need an inflator. <laughs> it took a long time with this, and I need a bigger one. Try it this way. Okay. 
I've got the, I've got the heater blowing. It's, it's already getting so warm in here. I'm, I'm starting to sweat. But that's, that's not a bad thing. Okay. Yeah. Now that works. I think, really, I'm too heavy for it. I think it's more, uh, would be better for kids or a, or a small person. At, at 230 pounds, this is too much. What do you got? I can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I got to in it. It's like, You know, I'm really, I'm really impressed with the little, with the little turbo heater here. This, this thing is on low, and it, it's kicking out quite a bit of heat. I mean, it's, it's not like when I had the, the big patio propane heater in, in here, but you know, it's, it's Texas, so it, it, that's, that's actually enough for most of our cool weather. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. We, there's there's a low and a high so we could get a little more out of it if we wanted to the only way i i can sit sit in this with, without reclining i recline when i when, and i'm not i'm not a big recliner i have to put it against the the center pole of the tent which is which is fine i mean it gives me something other than a lawn chair And that's better than sitting on the cold, hard ground. Now, I got, I got Yappy to come out here, and she wouldn't let me turn the camera on. She threatened to fire me, skin me alive and fire me. Um, she had the same issue. And she, she's smaller than I am, so if she's going to have that same issue, uh, maybe this would work for little kids to sit up. Or I could just keep using it like this. I think for the money and, and, and your kids need something to sit on other than... Yeah, you need something for your kids to lounge around on. This will be alright. A uh, long-term solution for us, if we're, if we're residing in the tent... No. It's, it's not going not gonna to cut it. That heater, that's a good deal right there. I like that. All right, we have another product on this edition of Friday's Finds. Stay tuned. We'll go, we're going to go out to the driveway. And it's too chilly for that right now. So I'll cut back in tomorrow. third product for this edition of Friday's Finds. I want to give a shout out to Asdome Tech. Thank you for sponsoring this edition. Now in, the, in today's crazy world of road rage, you cannot be too protected. And I, I, I now have a dash cam in the motorhome. I have a dash cam in the F-150. And, and Yappy's, Yappy's telling me she needs to have one in her car, even though she doesn't drive very often. But, Asdome has stepped up, and they have sent us a dash cam. We're, we're going we're gonna to dive, we're going to deep dive into the Asdome dash cam. It comes very, very nicely packaged. Very, very nice box. The owner of the instruction manual. I'm gonna need to read that before I can do anything. The power cord. 
We have a tool for something and some clips. We have the rear camera. Well, that's great. So we have front and rear cameras. Some sticky pads. A screen protector. A couple screen protectors. Not sure what that is. It seems to be. I don't know. I have to read the instruction manual to find out. And so there's there's two cameras here. One for the outside and one for the inside. So if you are, if you're in the rideshare business, this is going to come in real handy because it'll record everything that's going on in front, behind, and in the in your car. I need to educate myself. Install it. Installation is pretty easy. I mean, basically, we're just going to be sticking this thing on the, the windshield it has a gps unit built into it anyway let me educate myself and we'll be back i'm gonna put the as dome dash cam in yappy's car i read deeply into the instruction manual it's pretty challenging you gotta stick that on the dash you gotta run that cable to the to the back so the camera can see behind. And then we gotta find power. It's pretty simple. There's two things, uh, two additional things I learned. The dash cam has a a magnetic mount, which is which is so cool because the other two dash cams that I've worked with, uh, the one the one in Trudy Thunder. It's got a little slide tab thing and it always falls off. And I can't get off when I need it to. <laughs> and the one that's in the F-150, you know, that straps to the to the camera. So this one actually is is a little easier to work with. You can just take it right apart. Uh, the second thing that I learned is that it already has an SD card in, in here. So you don't have to go and buy one. So the 60, I think it's 65 gig SD card. It does need to be formatted before you start recording. That's it. So I'm gonna go put this in the in the cart. Pretty much all I'm gonna do is peel that off and stick it on the dash. So you don't have to watch that. But once I get it all in place, I'll show you what I've done. I got it installed. Turned out to be a little more of a project than I was anticipating on Yappy's car. But I've, I've got the camera mounted here on the windshield. And I have the rear camera mounted right there on the, on the rear view mirror. And, and we have the app that's working we can change pretty much every setting on here we can go up here and we can control the camera there is a Wi-Fi network I mean, anytime you make a change on the camera like for instance if I were to plug this in it would turn the camera off and the Wi-Fi would reboot we can switch cameras Go to front, small, rear, big. So that's our rear camera. It's kind of a distorted, but I think that's because of the way it's going, looking through the rear glass.
don't want it on, you can take the camera off. Oh, so it's always recording? Hmm? Just that, that's what I'm asking. Well, it's it's modular. So two of the cameras can be taken offline. Yeah. Uh, the cabin camera, it actually just unplugs. So okay, so, plug. so that is for inside. Correct. So we don't even need that. No, but if, if you are a YouTube driver, like an Uber driver, and you're driving yeah. strangers around, that's good. That would be good because you get, and it actually helps you in an accident because right. you can put proof. Here's what I was doing yeah. at the time of the accident. I wasn't watching Dude RV on YouTube. Yeah. And it also records audio. all three images at the same so, time. So, is this what you're going to put on YouTube? With me? No makeup and everything? Maybe. <laughs> Told you, I needed video for you. <laughs> Can you face it your direction? Shh. Don't tell her. <laughs> Don't tell her. So, as, as you just saw, that, that was all, that, that last clip there was all from the Asdome dash cam. Pictures are great. Audio, not so much. Uh, there's a, there's a, I don't know, the, the mic is, it's not quality. But you know, it's, the audio is sufficient. You don't need super high quality audio to protect you, to protect yourself in the event of an accident. So that audio being kind of Tinny is okay. It took me a little while to get used to how to work with the camera, but it performed really well after that. I think that's a that's a great piece of equipment, especially if you're in the ride share business. I've already expressed my, my thoughts about the, the inflatable recliner. I'm still on a quest for that. Uh, the heater, the turbo, turbos, they got it going on with heaters. Uh, I, that's going to become a part of my RV equipment for the cold season. But I've got a bay, a storage bay, that where we had water lines freezing in that last freeze spell we had here. And I needed a small heater to stick in there. That one would be ideal for that. That brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. All three of these items can be found on Amazon. Of course, the link will be in the card and in the description below. If you enjoy this kind of content, I do it just about every Friday. That's why it's called Friday's Finds. I, I look for cool stuff. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. I really would. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?